Hello everyone, Christopher Fisher here, and welcome to another part of my Let's Play of Jinx for the PlayStation 3. I'm going to remind you in every single part that this game came out in 2003. This is part 2, not 2003 if this Let's Play does not go for that long, but uh, yeah, we're doing the second section of Mamu City. Now, let's talk to this nice little sign here, Guide to the Castle, North, West, East. Okay. Alright, so we got these three different sections, and I think we need keys to get through. Alright. Let's go through this door first. Alright, so. Oh, there's our first key. Alright. Cool. So maybe that's the end of the section, and now can we pick what door we go through, or what? Maybe. Oh, another key. My god, this is too easy. Look at this. There we go. <laughs> Awesome. Alright, it looks like the keys are nondescript, as in we can just go through wherever we want. Alright, so this is the first little section here. Oh, is that a dog? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, guys. I just whacked the shit out of that dog. I just... No, I like, I legit just wrecked the dog. Alright, now... I don't really know what the hell the point of that is yet, but we'll figure it out. Alright. Maybe you got to throw it over there. I don't know. Okay. You know, I, I reckon what we're going to do for this for, for this section here, I'm going to actually just ignore the help for now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to go help. Look, you, you've been you've been great. Like I bet you, for example, this is like you, you drop it on here. That's that's my guess. Yep, I think that's it. I think that's. Oh, here we go. Oh shit. Let me pick it up. Oh, thank Christ. Now, can we actually kill this guy with this? Oh, that'd be amazing. Just destroy him. Oh, you can see his face. Look, he looks so... He looks kind of, like, cute-ish. Like, not like not as in, like, I'm attracted to, you know, anime characters cute, but as in, like... Oh, shit. Okay, well, I don't... I, I, you might as well just push these guys. Can you just drop it like that? Ah, there you go. Okay, that, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, yeah, but, I don't know, it just looks looks kind of funny. Like, actually, the faces in this game are actually kind of, like, weird. But in, in a cool way. Alright, so we've got the first thing, I guess. I'm, I'm guessing that's what we did. Now, are there anything under there? Little secret little sections? No. Wait. Yep. You know, I really do like the textures in this game. And of course, guys, you always want me to talk about it. Well, not you guys. I'm, I basically force texture talk onto everyone. But, yeah, I like the textures. Like, they don't feel amateur. They feel, I, I don't know, for some reason, I sort of get that vibe that they, they give a shit. Do you know what I mean? Like that that's the that's the kind of vibe I get. Like they they do actually care about their design. It's not just like, oh, uh, you know, like here's a game, I don't give a crap about it, it's just gonna look the way I want it to look, sort of thing. You know, like we'll just get it done because we have to get it done. And I think that's you know, when, when you have an original series like that, for some reason it with except I mean there are obviously exceptions, like look at how well Toy Story 2 and Bugs Life were done by Travelers Tales, but it's like when you have your own IP I feel like you you just you want to make it like better, you know, intellectual property, you know, like yeah. In case you didn't know what I was talking about. Anyway, this is a bounce pad. Walk across it to be launched into the air. Cool. <laughs> Look at that guy's face. Cool. All right. Um, rescue this fine fellow over here. What's his name? Guide Mart, Barton Mart. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks for getting me out of here. I thought I was stuck in here for good. The name's Mart, by the way. You may have met my little brother Bart earlier. I know we have totally different accents, but what can I say? I must reward you. Would you like me to conjure you something? Sure. Thank you very much, sir. That's no problem. Way to go, little jester dude. Way to go, little jester, dude. Oh, yeah. No, let's change my phone. Oh, yeah. I can turn on the fan in the main left way, too. That shall help you on your way. Well, thanks, Guide Mart. You're a, you're a fucking good bloke, mate. You're a fucking good bloke. Guide Mart, mate. Fucking love you, bro. Look at that guy. Look at him. Just, don't you just love Guide Mart? Like, Guide Mart. Like, he's actually dancing dan dan to the music. Look at him. He's loving it. Break the beats because I'm hardcore. All right, okay, let's go, let's go. Now can we, wait, 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 this, this door seems suspicious to me. 
Like, I'm, I'm getting suspicious vibes from it. Alright, hold up. Oh, cool, we can do that again. Alright, can we do it again? No? Okay, well, anyway, that's, that just seemed like we could do something, but I guess not. Um, yeah, so, you know, like, I mean, for example, um, 40 Winks, right? That was, you know, done by Eurocom, and you could tell that, like, they really enjoyed the world building and stuff like that. Like, it didn't feel lazy. Like, you know, they, they had all these different collectibles as well. This game is quite light on the collectibles. I mean, there is an inventory, which is definitely going to get interesting, I think, down the line as well. Like, for example, I don't know what those things do. No, we, okay, that's all we got right now. Like, these were the lightning... Four. Like, I don't, I, I actually don't know what they do at the moment, but, um, yeah, I don't, you know, like, they've, they've got their own, they've got their own world so far, and, yeah, I, like, I just appreciate that, I appreciate, you know, you know, I mean, I'm, the reason why I'm saying it is I'm, like, comparing it to the other LPM going, that's going on right now, uh, you know, the Lamb for Time, because the Lamb for Time is just, it's just so lazy, I mean, in every facet, except for the music, just about, alright, anyway, Oh my god, trapdoor. Guys, it's over. Guys, we, we had a good run. We had, like, we had a good run. Do you know what I mean? Right. What buttons dive? Okay, so triangle. Oh, let me get raised back up. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Yeah, you raise me here. Alright. Step on that. How do we... How the hell do we... Okay. There we go. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, right, okay. We could have probably walked around it, couldn't we? Maybe, or maybe it was like predetermined, you know what I mean? Like a sort of a, a cutscene of sorts. Alright, riddle. Return the cogs to the machine and hit the switch. One push from there and a new bridge cell pitch. <laughs> cool. Alright, so how do we do that then? New section. So we can push this around, I'm guessing. No? So that's obviously got to be let down. So to do that, we got to go part to Mart. Okay. Mart, we got Mart, Bart, who else? Fart, probably. I know, guys, I know. I'm very mature, let's play, you know, definitely. Uh, anyway, another life. A bit more health, actually, for that matter. And for some reason, I get Kingsley's Adventure vibes right now, just going up and back up this thing. I remember there was, like, this section in the in Kingsley. God, how good was Kingsley's music, by the way? Oh, shit. You know, I'm just going to put in a brief a little ex excerpt. Excerpt. And I had, that's a weird word, like sometimes I struggle, for some reason, like, I get, you know, like, ex excerpt, excerpt, excerpt. Yeah, I don't know, I, just, I sort of say it r rushed. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put in a little bit there now. Give me this music. How damn good is it? How damn good is that? Alright, now, how do we... So, I'm, I'm thinking I'm missing something. Hold up, because I was reading it. Okay, so return the cogs to the machine and hit the switch. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the cogs. Do I have cogs? Oh yeah, I have. Oh, that's right. I do. I have cogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent, excellent. I didn't. Okay, that's my bad there. There we go. Sorry, I could have done that a lot quicker. There we go. And. Done. Excellent. We're going through. I'm really excited. I mean, I mean, we're already in like a cool world, and this is something. This is you know, something different for like a 3D platformer. Like you don't see this type of medieval stuff that often. I mean, 40 Winks has another one similarity between the games, I guess. Is that yeah, 40 Winks definitely has that kind of thing. But I, I like it a lot. Um, oh, that's it. That's section two done. Oh, okay. A bit shorter than the first section, but a pretty cool section nonetheless. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this part. This has been part two of Mamu City. 
In the next part, we're going to be doing the third section. I don't know if there are bosses yet, or whether we do them later, or whatever's going on, but I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on. Um, I'm looking forward to the next world too, but uh, for now, part three, section three, see you then. Thank you.